Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today we are going to talk a little bit more about what's going on in Russia and provide a little bit of an update to the information we had just a few hours ago because there have been a number of developments and we're going to kind of just go through them. For those who don't know, a little bit of a recap, things are very quickly moving towards a state of direct confrontation between the traditional, conventional, state-sanctioned military of Russia and their private contracting force, Wagner. Uh, tensions have been boiling over for quite some time. Uh, there have been a number of signs that something like this was coming, and we've talked about it on the channel. Okay, so what do we know? At this point, yes, Wagner has made a move. They are making a move. They have crossed into Russian territory from Ukraine. Numbers, we're going to use top end on this because those are the numbers that Moscow is going to have to count on and figure um, when it comes to trying to combat it. Top end looks like about 25,000. That's, that's, that's a force. That, that, that's not a little thing. Um, we have confirmed at least two separate direct engagements between Russian forces, state forces, and the private forces. Um, it's worth remembering that the contracting firm, they have a lot of people who are a lower end but they're, they're hardened by battle. They also have a lot of incredibly experienced contractors. The state services that are available inside Russia at this point, they're, it's not really the Russian army. It's more of a, a National Guard, but that doesn't really cut it for an American comparison because the National Guard is much better trained. Um, this is not a fair fight. If it goes to similar numbers um, on each side, it's not a fair fight. Wagner has claimed that they have taken the Southern Military District HQ, uh, the headquarters there in uh, Rostov-on-Don. Uh, huge, if true. Huge. So to put that in an American context, this would be similar to somebody taking the green zone during the U.S. invasion and occupation of Iraq. It is not just a headquarters, it is also a massive logistical hub. There's going to be a lot of equipment there. Equipment that the private forces can then use. Um, that, was a, that was a major move. Um, it does appear to be true at this point. Okay, so what else? What happens next? Moscow has to respond. Okay. The boss of the private side. There's no going back now. There is no going back. This is one of those, the die is cast type of things. He has to attempt to see this through to whatever his aims are. Keep in mind, in the West, there is a general tone of it's a full-blown coup attempt. That may be true. That may be true. It may, be, it may also be true that it is more limited in nature, and he is just trying to rid the Russian military of commanders that he finds less than adequate. That is also a possibility. This may not be a full-blown coup attempt. It may be more limited in scope. At the same time, from Moscow's point of view, it doesn't matter. The response has to be the same, which is overwhelming. Um, if Putin lets this slide, he, he, he won't remain in power very long because he will be sending the message that removing leadership by force is not something that is going to be met with force. Um, so, 
odds are there is going to be a direct confrontation uh, of some kind. The odds of one of them backing down right now, it, it's, still with it, it's still within the realm of possibility, but it doesn't seem likely. As soon as shots were fired, it's no longer theoretical. It's no longer political posturing between lower-ranking people from Putin's point of view. This has gotten loud. There has to be a response from the state side. And there's no backing out from the private side. Um, now, for their part, Russian state media is doing a great job of basically telling everybody, hey, everything is fine, there's nothing to see here, nothing is happening, don't worry about the fact that you're on fire. Um, keep in mind, you know, th this isn't happening in secret. The, the military vehicles are rolling through the streets. Um, is it possible that this really spiral into a full-blown coup? Yeah, absolutely. This is something that could become a popular uprising. Not with the forces that the private side has alone, but if the civilian populace decides to side with them, it absolutely could. And given Russian response to mobilizations and the fact that we know there are non-state actors that are already operational inside Russia, it's not something that, that can be discounted. It's something that could happen, and in some ways, it's more likely than not. It depends on Putin's response and whether or not state forces can actually muster a real response. To my knowledge, the private side doesn't have a lot of air. Russia does. Russia has some air power that it can use here. Um, one of the other questions that has come in repeatedly is, what is Ukraine going to do? And there are two schools of thought in a situation like this. One is, Wagner pulled a bunch of people off the line. It's time to hit them. The other is, this might be an end to the war, and you don't want to commit people to fight who may not come back if you don't have to. I'm not there. I'm not second-guessing anybody's decision in this regard. There are a whole lot of unknowns, and there's a lot of variables at play. Uh, this is becoming very real very quickly, and it's a situation that could have very long-lasting impacts, and it could spiral in a bunch of different directions. So it's something that we'll keep watching, keep covering. Um, you know, people are asking about the odds of Putin being removed. I, I don't know yet. We have to see what the Russian people decide. The real decision here, it, it's not going to be made on the battlefield between the private forces and the state forces. It's going to be made in the minds of the Russian populace and what they decide and how they decide to respond. If they do nothing, the state forces probably have an edge. If they come out into the street, it very well could be Swan Lake. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.